When Jason Wainwright began diving over a decade ago, he and others witnessed a startling sight. Sea stars were vanishing from BC waters. We need to protect it big time. You know, everything starts from the sea. We all came from the sea. Scientists called it sea star wasting disease, first seen around the world in 2013, but devastating the Pacific coast in particular. The animals developed open sores, and in some cases, their insides literally spilled out. It spread rapidly, and within a matter of months or a year or two, we saw wasting sea stars all the way from the coast of uh, Mexico up to Alaska, particularly the sunflower sea star, um, which lost almost 6 billion individuals. It was pretty horrific. Their investigation uncovered the deadly microbe causing all the destruction, a bacterium called Vibrio pectinicida. Detecting it works much like a COVID test. The test that we're developing is a little bit different than the COVID test, but it will allow us to function similarly in testing sea stars when we're talking about reintroducing individuals back into the wild. Researchers hope the testing will help them spot infections early and guide recovery efforts. For divers like Wainwright, that's welcome news. Seeing what's under there and you go for the creatures, I do anyway. Now that scientists have determined why the sea stars have been dying off, they can turn their attention to bringing them back in abundance to the ecosystem. Julie Nolan, Global News.